Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Dave again. So we just had a huge ruling in the NRA case, the uh, bankruptcy case going on in New York. So let's get into what came out of that. Okay, so for those not familiar with the case against the NRA, basically New York State Attorney General, uh, let me get her name, L Laletta James, uh, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right, uh, has basically taken the NRA to court to try to get rid of the organization. Now, she's alleging that there's a bunch of fraud and abuse going on, primarily at the hands of Wayne LaPierre. Uh, the president and chief operating officer of the NRA. He's been in power for pretty much 30 years. So in this case, and let me bring this up for you. So in this case by, or this article here by NPR, uh, basically what the NRA tried to do is they went to bankruptcy court to try to dissolve the organization and basically move it to Texas, thus shielding themselves from the state attorney general of New York. And that's just what I'm going to call her because her name's really hard for me to pronounce. Uh, which you can see right here, uh, Loletta James. I, I still don't know. But basically, the judge uh, ruled that the NRA cannot file bankruptcy. Uh, they have enough money to pay their creditors. And it came to light that they're basically just trying to use it as a tactic to get away from persecution. So a couple of other things happened in this case and came to light. So it turns out that Wayne LaPierre was using the NRA basically as a big bank account. So as I've highlighted down here, uh, it came to light that funds were used, you know, tax exempt funds were used for wedding expenses, private jet travel, and exotic getaways. So they go on to cite this example. So LaPierre's private travel consultant was paid $26,000 a month. I got to get in on this travel consultant gig. Seems like a sweet one. Uh, and it also came to light that he had her change itineraries so that it didn't actually show where these private jets were taking him. And further down in the article, it goes on to say that he would frequently go to the Caribbean with one of the vendors and stay on their private yacht, which is a huge conflict of interest. Uh, very bad. So it's not looking real good. The judge dismissed the case. Apparently, LaPierre just really agitated the judge, just rambled on, wouldn't directly answer questions. The article highlights that the judge more than a dozen times had to ask Wayne LaPierre, can you just answer the question that I've asked you? Do you understand? Uh, LaPierre was like, uh, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying. So, you know, the NRA, I know a lot of guys on this channel. I know a lot of guys in general, like the NRA will look out for us. The NRA is in trouble. The NRA is a mess. I, I hope they survive this, um, but it is not looking good. There's no way LaPierre can survive this or should stay in charge of this organization. They have to get someone else in. You know, I had hoped maybe Oliver North would help them out, but even back in 2019, Oliver North bailed on this joint. It's a sinking ship. New York's going to gut this thing. So be ready, Second Amendment fans, because uh, our strongest fighter is wobbling on his knees. So uh, wobbling on his feet, ready to go to his knees, excuse me. So they took in $291 million in 2019. Uh, they've already spent $72 million on their primary law firm. So at that burn rate, it's not going to take long to go through it all. Uh, if you think and still believe in the NRA after all this, maybe make a donation. I don't know. But, yeah, let's keep an eye on this one. The NRA might be coming to an end uh, in the not-too-distant future. Wish you had some better news. I'll catch you guys in the next one.